pa more at ngayon sasagutin natin ang ilang mga concerns ng mga Mars natin tungkol naman sa English lessons ng kanilang mga anak dito sa Homework Hotline! At para sagutin ang mga homework concerns natin today, makakasama natin si Ms. Carla Villanueva. Isa po siyang grade 6 English language arts teacher. Andito siya ngayon. Good morning, Teacher Carla. Hi, Good morning, Teacher Carla. Good morning. Wow. Kailangan sabay-sabay tayo. Good morning, Teacher Carla. Good morning, teacher. I'd like to say, first of all, I'd like to say thank you. And second, I'd like to say, ang ganda-ganda mo para ka-artista. Yeah! Teacher Carla, simula muna natin yung lesson natin with Mommy Jean Arnado's question. Her question is, ayan, palagi po nalilito ang anak ko sa ibig sabihin ng advice at advice. Okay. Ano po ba ang difference? Ayan. Advice with a C and advice with, with an, an S. S. So, unahin muna natin yung advice with a C. Okay. okay. So, ang advice with a C is a noun. It's an opinion that someone offers you about what you should do or how you should act in a particular situation. Okay. Kung tatagalogin natin ito, ito ay payo. Payo. Okay. So, okay. tayo ng example. For example, I hope you follow my advice. So, Yo. ibig sabihin, okay, okay. hindi na yung halikita. Meron akong opinion na hopefully ay gawin mo or sinin mo. Yan ang advice. So, isa siyang, okay. pa, isa siyang noun. So, it's that's very noun. important. Okay. 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 Eh, yun namang with advice. S. Advice with an S. Ito ay isang verb. Ito ay isang verb. action. Okay. So, it is suggesting, it's to suggest what should be done to recommend or to give information. So you're advising someone, parang ganon. Yes. So ito ang mismong action, yung tipo nagpapayo ka na talaga. Ito ang advice with an oh, S. Okay. So magbigay tayo ng example. I advised her to quit smoking. Okay. And I have to keep it. So ibig sabihin, pinayuhan ko siya na tumigil na ni Galibio. So, advice is an action. So, it's a verb. Sa so, parang yung advice, yung pagbigay, yung advice, yung... Yung binibigay. Yun yung payo yung na binigay sa'yo. Sa oh. Oh. Okay. Thank you for that, Teacher Carla. Dahil yung tanong na yan ay para sa homework ni Crisella Villadiego, isa siyang grade 10 na estudyante. Ayan oh. na ang sagot natin para sa'yo. Thank you so much, Teacher. Oh. Actually, okay. baka pwede nga natin ipaklaro yan kay, ano, kay Teacher Carla. Yes, itong uh, common na uh, word na nalilito tayong gamitin. Oh, lose and lose. Double yeah, yeah. O na lose, um, Teacher Carla, tsaka yung lose na isa lang din. So, ano ba yung tama din paggamit niyan? Mas Camille, so unahin natin lose. ang lose with a single O. So, that's okay. L-O-S-E. Okay. Ang lose na may isang O ay isang verb. Kaliwete ka um, pala, Kams. Yes, Kuya. Um, it means failing to win or hold on to something. So, pwedeng you might lose a game, you might lose your Talo. temper. Mm, matalo. <laughs> lose a game. Ah, mawala. Okay. Mawala o matalo. Or huh? your yes. temper. Okay, mawala. Okay. Ang lose naman, na may dalawang O, ito ay isang adjective. So, describe niya ang isang bagay. Um, it's something, it means something that is not firmly held or mm. fastened in place. Maluwag. Sabi, Maluwag. Maluwag. Mm. For example, um, my uh -oh. son wouldn't let me pull his loose tooth. Yo. Oh, okay. I love it. Yeah. Okay, yeah. napakadali niyan, ha? Oh, oh. Oh, thanks, teacher Carla. Do you have the next one? Meron pa kaming next na question. Galing naman to kay Mommy Mariel Tahan Langit. Okay, sa English, sa, go, go, yeah. sa English subject, nahihirapan po ang anak ko sa rules sa pagsulat ng plural words. Paano po ba madaling maintindihan ito? Bayan, Kuya Kim, um, nahihirapan tayo dahil maraming exceptions eh. Um, so, pinakauna siguro, kailangan nating i-identify whether the noun is regular or irregular. Okay. Madali naman po kasi most of the nouns naman are regular. regular. Okay. Regular nouns, ito yung usual na nag-a-add lang tayo ng S 
Okay. Ang okay. IES. Um, kunwari, um, Mars IA S, so that's, um, for example, glass. Yes. So, dating nagunin natin siya ng IES, that's still regular. Kasi oh, that's still regular. Okay. Yes. Pag a regular noun, um, it can have a wide range of different endings. Okay. Mm -hmm. Minsan may pattern. Um, for, meron din namang irregular nouns um, that do not change at all. Yung spelling okay. niya yung change. Kunwari, sheep. Pag madami ang sheep pa rin. Um, information. 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 Yeah. So, madalas um, tayong nagkakamali. Mm -mm. Furniture. So, ang furniture, um, wala itong, ano, wala itong plural, plural forms. So, furniture pa rin siya. Uh -huh. Eh, yung food. Teacher Carla, yung food. <laughs> Foods. Meron ba? Ikaw, may pinapatamahan ka! Kuya, ay mo na clarify ah, yan kasi I even get eh. confused. Alam mo, ikaw talaga, kuya. <laughs> Hindi, <laughs> kayo food talaga, Teacher Carla. Meron bang plural form um, ng food? Ang food kasi, it has always been an uncountable now. So, food siya in general. Kung baga okay. parang sa, di ba nahihirapan din tayo sa fish or fishes? Um, tama kasi si Kuya Kim kanina, marami exceptions. Kahit sa grammar, pag tumingin ka ng grammar book, iba-iba din minsan ang, ang kanilang ano eh, ang kanilang sinasuggest hmm. sa inyo. But um, usually kasi, food is always an uncountable noun. So, hindi natin siya nilalagyan ng S. Oh. Pero, um, pwede so, natin siya nilagyan talaga. ng S. Foods, if we are referring to maraming kind ng food. Okay. Okay. okay, okay. Ako, Teacher Carla, may tanong din. Kasi common mistake din sa lahat. Sabi nila, wala daw such thing as fats. Fat, fats. Hmm. So, parang nalilito din yung tao kung pwede mong gamitin yung fats. Oh, Sabi nila, with hindi, S wala or without. daw. Okay. So, Teacher Carla, ano ba ang fat talaga? Or pwede bang gamitin yun with S? Yes, yes. Um, Pero yeah. Depende kasi sa, sa ibig sabihin yan, um, Miss Dayan. But um, kasi pag sinabi natin, yung usual, ano bang klaseng fat? Yung fat ba na nakukuha natin sa pagkain? Fat ba meaning as to taba? But usually, talaga we call it kasi fats eh. Kasi fat, at when we say fat, usually it refers to um, the adjective fat. That's right. It's um, like adjective, um, parang okay. ganun. Oh, okay. Galing! 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 Gal Ayan, sa mga mommies, we hope na nabigyan namin ng linaw ang mga tanong mo tungkol sa English subject ng mga kids ninyo. 